So today we're going to take a look at the Segway Cube power station uh, built by Segway 9Bot, so the same company that makes the scooters. And if you want to check out this product, there's a link to the e-commerce store below. So I'm kind of curious about this one. This is a flexible design that holds up to five kilowatt hours of power through this cordless expansion system. It is kind of interesting. So let's get into it. So first of all, sorry about my voice. I'm coming out of a cold, but getting better. Now I have taken a look and I have reviewed a lot of different power stations at this point and so many of them are quite similar and, and like there are little, little changes here and there but overall it's nothing that different. This is different. So what we have is on top here we have the inverter part and all the inputs and outputs and the fan and all of that and then below here we have the battery unit. So this right now has two battery units so each battery unit is one kilowatt hour of lithium iron phosphate battery power. You can remove one of these and just have a 1000 watt hour system um, or you can expand um, and you can get up to five kilowatt hours. Now um, I have reviewed other units that you can expand. Now the thing about the ones that I have reviewed all are connected with wires which is fine, but I mean, look at this, look how sleek and clean this is. These actually connect to each other. So it's kind of like build your own station. You can, you know, add however much power you need and it's all being controlled by this one inverter. The front area here, we got three plugs, three DC and more DC. And if you want to charge this unit, <clears throat> we have an overload protection, solar car input, AC fast charge. We also have super fast charging. So we have one kilowatt hour recharge in 1.2 hours. Now that is super fast. It supports 1250 watt AC charging and 800 watts of solar charging. Um, and you can also combine those two together and that's when you get that super fast charging capability. Now to disassemble here, we use an Allen wrench. Okay, so here you see the way this connects together. And here it is disassembled. We have the bottom part with feet. Um, and this middle battery, this is where you can add multiple of these um, in between, just stacking, stacking, stacking. And then of course this is the inverter part. This is the light part. Um, the batteries are the heaviest. In terms of output, um, the inverter here can output uh, 2200 watts. Um, however, there's also like an override mode, uh, which is called the R drive function. And according to Segway, when you activate that, it enables you to drive high power devices up to 4400 watts. And one thing I like about that is that you actually control that through the unit itself and not through the app. Um, this does have an app you can log into, you can check your power, you can turn the AC on or off through the app, but I kind of like that you can actually set these different functions within the unit itself. But many times I've tested out systems where you can only control those things through the app and sometimes you don't want to mess around with the app, sometimes you just want to go directly to the thing, so it's kind of a nice feature. Let's do both the water kettle and the iron at the same time. Okay, so we're starting with the iron turning on, so 11.46, now let's also turn on the water kettle. So now we're over 2200, but we have this power riding, so it should still work. Going up to 2200 is pretty impressive. So pretty neat being able to use two high drawing appliances at the same time, an iron and a water kettle, and no issue. So if we want to turn this 2000 watt hour unit to a 1000 watt hour unit, what we need to do is basically connect the inverter to just the base battery pack. And all you do is put it on top. I mean, it couldn't be easier. Connect it with some screws. Okay, so now we have this kind of much smaller unit here. So it lets us know we have one battery here. So it's kind of nice that, you know, even when we have a small unit like this, we still have that powerful inverter. So if we want to go from 1000 watt hours to 2000 watt hours, we can do that. I do kind of love how easy that is. And now after connecting the other battery, you can see that this is number two. We have two batteries connected, so it senses that right away. 
We also have this waterproof technology, should be able to handle uh, quite a lot of splashes and things like that. And of course we have the safe battery design with these LiPo 4 batteries. Um, and they boast that this battery system can handle up to 4,000 cycles. So that is 10 years of daily charging and discharging. So that's a long time in battery talk. And I think a system like this would be a pretty strong contender if you are looking for a system for home emergency, you know, to be prepared in a power outage or if you just want to go out camping or, you know, something that you can use when you work outside in different situations and you need to charge things up, not to mention RV charging. Kind of a neat unit. If you want to check this out, check out the link in the description below. I rather like this design. I think it is different and it's definitely useful, functional. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.